and welcome back. This is working on the fuel tank. Uh, as I've said in previous videos, I kind of jumped from section to section to section as I was waiting for parts. So I decided to go ahead and close out. This is the left fuel tank, uh, the one I started on. And uh, I thought I had recorded the process of prepping everything, putting the pro seal in and uh, getting all the sealant in place to, to close it in. But apparently I forgot to push the record button until this point. Uh, but basically what I had done is gone through and put a bead of pro seal along the uh, top and bottom flanges of this rear baffle plate that I'm installing. And as you slide that baffle in place, it kind of smears all of that sealant uh, to kind of, you know, make the, the mating surface, I guess. Uh, but I also had gone on each rib and applied Pro Seal, and at each corner of each rib, applied a generous amount of Pro Seal just to try to make sure that there's no issues and close everything out. So here you see me uh, using the pneumatic squeezer to rivet the baffle in place. So just go. I uh, actually end up cutting quite a bit of it out. It's pretty monotonous, but. You just go, you know, go through, go down the, the line of rivets, um, and you wanting to make sure that each hole has some sealants. And the process of, of moving the baffle in place actually smears a lot of sealant into the hole, so you don't really have to worry about injecting a little bit of sealant in each hole. And here you see, I've fast forwarded now, I'm working on the other side, and just about done. But if you work with the material fast enough, it uh, doesn't. It's not a problem as far as getting the sealant there, and, it, and it's workable. Um, so that's what I did. I put everything in and started riveting right away, uh, without letting it set too too long. Now I'm working on putting on the Z attach brackets. Um, you want to make sure that. You're paying attention to the plans because they actually there's a few brackets that are lined up a di the, the opposite direction. They're facing the other way. And so you want to make sure that you look at that and, and make sure you put it in, in place correctly. My understanding is that um, on the spar, when you go to attach this, the I, I believe it's the two closest to the camera are, are switched uh, facing the other way. The brackets facing the other way. But you go through and this whole process is using uh, the uh, special br uh, pop rivets. They're uh, sealed pop rivets. So uh, it's not your typical pop rivet where it's got a, you know the opening and you, you see the, the ball that gets pulled into the rivet to kind of squeeze it all together. This one, the, the rivet is solid. Um, obviously you want to make sure that there's no holes for fuel to seep out of. So the actual rivet itself is solid. Um, and then it just squeezes and, and closes everything together. Didn't have too much of a problem with them. There was a few that I kind of had to um, force into place. Um, you'll see me use the rivet gun on every once in a while to kind of mechanically agitate them into place. But this is one of the brackets I was talking to. It's facing the other direction from the other, you know, what it looks like uh, five brackets all along the uh, farthest end are facing uh, away from the camera and then these two closest are facing toward the camera um, and so yeah just make sure as, you, as you're building it you look through anyway this was just a quick video showing the uh, progress of the left fuel tank I haven't pressure tested it yet I'll be doing that relatively soon uh, kind of waiting for the temperatures to come back down a little bit so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and let this video run out here and uh, if you haven't already, hit that like button for me and subscribe and hit that bell and you'll get notifications anytime I put these videos out. Again, for those that continue to watch these videos, I appreciate it. If you have any comments or questions, by all means, leave them down below and I'll try to answer them as I see them. All right, we'll see you guys next time.